Good morning, everyone. You sound so awake. I am awake. <laughs> Five fifty-six a.m. You know, it's a great time right now. weekend plan so we're starting with the gym but I think I might just hang out in here and yeah, uh, I so. workout complete I hated that <laughs> Good morning Hayden morning. so we just got back from the gym Hayden babysat for us this morning thank you why we went to the gym you babysat no, no who did who? Okay, fine. We didn't leave our six-year-old with her siblings. Good morning, Harps. Good morning. How did you sleep? Good. Did you, though? This girl crawled out of her bed how many times last night? Three. Three? That's about accurate. At least you own it, huh? <laughs> Let's have some pancakes. So, I want to know if anyone has a solution. We have nowhere in our house to put Hayden's art projects. So, what did we find? Right here. We put them on the pantry, which I said is probably the most opened door in the entire house. <laughs> so, because we have some snack queens in this house, huh? <laughs> Are you obsessed with snacks? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so every month we're going to change these out, huh? Mm -hmm. <gasps> Who is this? Who is this? Good morning. Mwah. Can I have a kiss? Mwah. Mwah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. What about Sissy? <clears throat> So much love, you can feel it. How's breakfast? Good? Say yes. Yes. So we're out here. I have Hannah with me. We made the cutest TikTok ever yesterday of Emmett, but we were in such a rush because I had to go to the gym. So we had like 15 minutes to make it and we that forgot we forgot the car scene. So we're gonna put him in his little car. So basically, if you guys know the song 9 to 5 by Dolly Parton, we just like acted out the intro. So he's going to work right now. Look at my little man with his tie and his suit. You look so handsome. Yes, you do. Let's put you in. Oh, Jesus. Heavy. Heavy. Yeah. Hi, Bob. <laughs> the struggle. It's like a Tesla. <laughs> so this little car is actually remote control. Please don't tell me it's dead. I think it has to be on. Oh. Woo! I'm sorry, I've never done this before. <laughs> Let's okay. see what you got. Disclaimers. Uh oh, I think it did die. Oh, it's backwards. Hannah! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> for this video, but... <laughs> what the heck? We are struggling. I don't think it's gonna fit. This is hard. It is 11 o'clock. The kiddos are eating lunch. Harper, how's lunch? Good. <laughs> how's lunch? So See? good? So I'm about to make them some snacks for our road trip. I bought these little snack containers and they are really cool. If you push it, it goes to like the next container. Um, I bought them when they were like super trending on TikTok and they were super expensive. I wonder what the price is now. I'll find it for you guys and I'll leave it in the comments. Popcorn, grapes, strawberries, candies, lucky charms. You ready for our road trip, Harps? What did you say? Pizza 
take your jelly. Please don't take the jelly. <laughs> so you guys, I am cleaning out the fridge for vacation because we're going to be gone a week. So just getting rid of stuff, you know. And Harper's like, please don't take the jelly. What? It's for biscuits. It's for biscuits? <laughs> we are finishing up packing. I have not packed for a trip for five kids, five kids, five people in, for almost a year. So I kind of underestimated how much work it was. But we're making progress. We got mine and the kids. Gerard, do you want me to pack for you? What? Do you want me to pack for you? Are you sure, babe? Uh, Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so of course we have a little disaster right before we we're going to leave. Miss Harps has been doing this thing where she puts her pull-ups in the dirty clothes and then I don't see it when I do laundry and then it explodes everywhere. You see that? That's all of the stuff from your diaper. <laughs> Seriously the worst. I swear things always happen right before you're about to leave. So I talked about Gerard and I trying to keep it healthy. So we have, these are our road trip snacks, hard boiled eggs, these baby cucumbers. They're actually really good if you guys haven't tried them. These little adult Lunchables and some fruit. <laughs> We're probably gonna be starving. I know it's a lot of food, but it's not, you know, road trip food, normal road trip food. All right, we got the kiddos ready for the six hour road trip. Who's excited? Me. At least we got one. Harper is so tired, it's now time. We got some Barbie on. Hopefully we have a peaceful trip, but I don't know. I don't know, we'll have to see. Uh-oh, uh-oh, does that mean no? Um, excuse me, ma'am. So Good much look. for a road trip snack. Harper, where's Mama, your food go? You can eat it all. Really? <laughs> then I'll see you Hayden, soon. Hayden, I have a question for you. Okay. YouTube wants to know why you are in our dancing videos. I do not like the dance I'm getting too shy. You're too shy. You're a shy girl. You like YouTube? Yeah, we're not too Right, we're about to go on our road trip. We are about to embark on this six hour journey. Who is going to cry the most? Me. <gasps> Will it be Harper? No. Will it be Miss Hayden? No. Are you sure? No. Will it be Emmett? Oh, he didn't cry on road trips. Don't you worry. Or will it be Daddy? <laughs> Probably daddy. It's 3.30. Our goal was 3. I feel like we did, we're doing pretty we're good. We're out of the house at what? Yeah, 3.15. 3. We're just getting gas. 3.15. I don't know about 3.15. Should I do? So it is 5 hours and 45 minutes. We're a little bummed because there's two different ways you can get to, Il to, Ilbert, to Gilbert from where we live. And one was passing this house that we really wanted to see. It was like our dream house. But it's kind of silly because we can't buy it anyway. So... Self At least not right now. Self-employed life over here. It's kind of sucky because you can't make huge purchases without um, like two years under your belt. And we've only been doing the social media thing for about a year. Not even a year, actually. Like... That's a long story. So anyways, it doesn't really make sense. We're just gonna look at some open houses in Gilbert just for fun because we have talked about moving possibly to Arizona in the future. Like, when do you think we'll move? Like next year, 2023? It's a year, yeah. About a year is our goal to move to wherever that will be. Arizona was never really on our list to move to, but when we came to Gilbert, we loved it. And we just love all the amenities and everything like that. So I will say we'll definitely try some other states before like picking where we're gonna live forever. Yeah. But all of our friends are moving to Texas. If you live in a city you love for your young families, let me know, leave it in the comments and we will check it out. Wish us luck on this road trip. Say bye YouTube. Bye. So only about two hours into our trip and we decided that these kids need to get off some energy. Woof! You guys need to bounce it out, okay? It's hot out here. I know. We're in where are we at? We are in Palm Desert. It's I think. hot. It feels like summer. Yeah. Woof. 
We're not ready for summer. Let's go. Hayden, yeah. what'd you get? I got Panera. All right, YouTube, we made it to our destination. It is 1 a.m. And we forgot that we should have had someone clean the flooring. Clean the entire house before we got here. So we got our floors done and the entire house is just so dusty we have a lot of work to do but it's okay we live and we learn and we're learning a lot <laughs> everyone say hi youtube hi youtube wait we're stopping the video why are we stopping the video because it's one o'clock in the morning do you even know what that means This is the latest they've ever stayed up. Gerard's uh, cleaning the floors because they're extremely dusty. And good night. Thanks for watching, everyone. it was so much work I did not vlog anything in between so we are completely done here is the first living area we got this like video game coffee table which is so much fun so all like old school games like Battleship Monopoly Candy Land checkers all those things on here for our guests here is the rest of the game room so we got a foosball table um all of this stuff we had to like we completely furnished this house in less than like in like 10 days it has been crazy so here my friend's coming with her family to do like a test run so i set it up for them and then we're gonna add some cookies for our guests too here is the other living room if you guys remember, well, just from the pictures, this was like, the fireplace was such an eyesore, so we decided just to paint it all black and love the way that it came out. Here is the dining room and the kitchen. These bar stools that match and tie in with the sofas. Um, we got a nugget ice machine for those hot Arizona days. And let me show you the bedrooms. Got our house rules up here. It's getting official. So here is the master bedroom. Um, let me show you guys. It's a little better view. So we just went with a king in here, some nightstands, super simple, but I also love it. And then here is the master bath. So we have it set up for my friend and her family and the shower. I got those little guys filled, which was actually so hard. All right, and so it's a four bedroom, two bathroom house. Here is bedroom number one. So we have a queen in here. Bedroom number two is a full. We did all of these fans throughout the house. It was just so much little stuff. Like, did the fans, did all new handles, did all new hinges. 
here is the twin room so we're kind of making this into like if someone has kids who stays here it would be more like the kids room so we put some toys in here um this little nugget couch and a little baby rocker and that is all it's another bathroom but this one we didn't really update, so I'm not gonna show you that much of it. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe we are done. So anyways, it's just been a lot. We came out here, um, when I ended that vlog, we were here for a whole week. I didn't vlog anything. We were seriously like going nonstop and we had our three kids with us, so it was just like, insane i don't even remember that week of our lives but then we went home for five days and then me and gerard just drove back out just the two of us and we have been here for three nights and we were able to finish everything so super proud of ourselves um i don't know if i'll have it it's in gilbert arizona if anyone wants to stay here i think it's just so fun i would love to hear from you guys if you do ever stay here and Yes, hopefully. So this was our first Airbnb. This is really like a dream come true. We've wanted to do real estate for so long. So hopefully this is the first of many. And now that we have like one under our belt, I'll be better about um, like sharing the process. Because I know there's a bunch of you out there who want to do the same thing. Um, I will say it was just really overwhelming this time. So and it being six hours away from our house was just really really hard but anyways thank you guys so much for watching as always i appreciate your support so much and make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet and i hope you all have a beautiful day also youtube i forgot to show you guys the outside which is like the best part so here is the gate it's fenced in or the pool it's fenced in we got a barbecue, some cute umbrellas. There's a gazebo with a spa, which has lights, which is really pretty at night. We bought some fun floaties, some lounge chairs, this little lounge area, and there's also three fruit trees. So there's lemon, grapefruit, and oranges. And they're delicious. I have tasted them. So yeah, here you guys have it.